Uh, this small kit review is of the uh, Junkers A7G, the Stuker Dive Bomber. This is the Tank Buster version, which has got the uh, cannons here. It's 172nd scale, it's by Academy. It's a nice box art as well. Over here we've got uh, some pictures of the finished model, and that looks very nice. Let's see here. There's just another picture there. So let's have a look inside and see what we've got. So we've got uh, a couple of screws to go through here. Let's start off with uh, this one. Here we have uh, our wings, and these are the top wings. We've got some recessed panel lines. They're not very deep. We have some rivet lines as well, but uh, that's very beautiful molding. Look at the quality of that. And uh, this looks like this is probably... Well, what is that? That's going to be our uh, stabilizer or elevator. Here are the uh, wheel housings, some extra little pieces for the body here, and then um, that's for the uh, stabilizer at the back. But that's actually very nicely molded. Here is the lower part of the wings with our um, control surfaces here, molded and attached, but very nice. Look at the level of detail here. That's just phenomenal. I don't see any mold lines or flashing. We've got wheels here. We've got tread on there. That is really phenomenal. Slight uh, mold line there. We've got our uh, air intakes there. And uh, there's our rear tail wheel there. And some pitot tubes and so on. Very, very nice. Here is our. Uh, glass and as you can see here we've got uh, pieces that are uh, together if you want to um, glue it on together or separately depending on how you'd like to have them uh, glued on now these last screws here let's look at our fuselage also very nicely molded recessed panel lines, rivet lines, the tail has got two parts and we've also got some detail here on the inside of the cockpit which is phenomenal. We've got a propeller, it's going to need a little light sanding but really not bad at all. There's our spinner and uh, we've got our exhaust and uh, rear part of the um, cockpit there really just phenomenal. Look at the detail here on this uh, front nose on each side and then some details here. This is probably going to be for our rear part of the cockpit. More cockpit parts here. Our seat there. There's the floor of the cockpit with our instrument panel. All some very nice detail. And lastly here we have our uh, guns, the cannons and uh, pods that go with it. It's one for each side. That is just phenomenal. Here are our decals and uh, obviously they come without the uh, swastika because nobody really wants to sell that anymore. Let's have a look at our instructions. Okay so let's see here that's what the, each of those signs means. It's really small writing. We start off with the uh, cockpit, so that's our gun there. And uh, put the fuselage together, put the nose together with the uh, propeller, and mount that all onto the um, fuselage. Put our wings together, and uh, the tail there. 
mount that all together there. Um, this is the, part, the colors listing right there. We put our wheels in their different uh, wheel houses there, and then the uh, additional parts underneath. Let's have a look here. We've got some additional details, all the little struts there to hold the uh, the control surfaces in line. We've got our uh, cannons. Shows you how to mount those. Put those on underneath there, and then the um, canopy either closed or open. I imagine most people will put it as open unless you're making it flying. Here's the parts listing. And then lastly, here we've got our uh, decal and paint guide. And it shows you the different uh, colors to use, and uh, those are the two different versions there. But that is just absolutely phenomenal model.